Okay, so um, now we're just going to have a quick look at retreatment and removal of gutta perca. Uh, again, this is trial and error uh, quite often as to what system works best. I'm going to try and do it in two ways. One is using hand instrumentation and then I'm going to go on and use uh, rotary instrumentation. So this is just using hand instrumentation. The hand instruments that are best to remove GP are headstrum files, cutting tips and quite aggressive flutes to engage the GP and pull it out. The key thing with removing gutta perca is to try and pull it out as one piece if you can. It doesn't always happen like that. In fact, the majority of times it doesn't happen. But the more big lumps you can get out, the, easy, the easier it is to then clean afterwards. So we're going to use a reasonable size file. This is a size 30. And we're going to insert it into the mass of the GP and see where it goes to. So I'm just using gentle rotational movements to engage into the GP. As you can see already, it's starting to come out. So I'm creating a space down the side of the, or between the canal and the GP. I'm not instrumenting the canal wall at this point. I said in the lecture, it's quite important that the first thing you do is to remove the old root filling. And then once you've done that, you can then go on and move and prepare the root canal. So this one's quite tight, so we're not making a huge amount of progress with that. So we're going to go to a size 20 headstrom file and see if that will go a little bit further down for us, which it will. So as you can see, just working it in. There's little bits of it coming out, but what I'm really trying to do is create a channel down the side so that I can braid most of this out. So you're just working away. Go back to size 25. Should be able to get a little bit further down. So just rotational movements, pulling out. And as you can see, by pulling out there, we've pulled out quite a substantial lump just by working around the GP. And then as it's engaged further down, it's pulled out the whole lump there. So now we'll undo that. We'll go back to our size 20 as we're going further apically down. And I'm going to repeat the same exercise. So just engagement into the GP and just pulling that out. being careful to try and engage the filling and not the wall. So same again, 25 in, pulling that out. If you're finding that it's difficult to engage the GP, then that's certainly an indication for solvent. So just engaging again as much as we can and then eventually that will pull the rest of the GP out quite neatly. So there we have it. So at this point the GP is removed and then you will then move on to your canal preparation strategies um, as we discussed in the lecture. So the key there is that you've not altered the anatomy in trying to get the gutta perca out, you've just brought it out ostensibly in two large lumps and that's the optimum way of doing it.